few things about me. Uh, Agent Brisbrook, I'm the senior agent in charge of this operation. Full-fledged U.S. Marshal. Uh, All right, you Brisbrook. got the spreadsheet up? Yeah, yeah. I just, I just have one question before we do this interview or whatever. Uh, I'm Agent Brimley. I'm a field agent. I work under Agent Brisbrook. Uh, we worked together for a couple years. We uh, made PSAs for a little while, but uh, now we're back out in the field. Oh yeah, sure. Go ahead. There's there's all sorts of complex parts to this this process of of vetting and and in deciding who you really want. You know. Well, that actually has nothing to do with that. Why does your gun get a nicer chair than I do? What? Go. Oh. It's uh, it... everywhere I go. Brisport just makes sure I have this exact chair. He always gives his gun a much nicer chair than this, but I'm I'm not really sure. Like, well, I mean, it, it I sat know. there. It sat there first, you know. Oh, I, I mean, mean, think about how we not walked really. in here. I, I we, walked we in and you walked followed. in, and you told me you told me to sit in this chair. Yeah. I, I mean, if you had a problem, you could have said something right then and there. Yeah, but I mean, we could have just moved, switched. We could have just switched the chairs around. Oh, I think he's here. Yeah, yeah, come in. Good morning, gentlemen. How we doing? Good. Uh, D Dante, I presume? I yep, that's me. Uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and have a seat? Uh, my name's Agent Brimley, and this is Agent Brisbork. That's yeah, an nice interesting you, suit color. I yes, I, I think it was. Uh, I thought it would be present on the eyes, you know? I mean, I got a uh, kind of a dark gray, 100% uh, wool. Brimley here, real black, more, more of a cheaper polyester uh tailored hand tailored by chinese children of course i thought we were here to talk about me sir all due respect you're right you're right you're right so why do you want a job here at the u.s federal marshals well let me tell you something i heard the job positioning and i thought there'd be nobody better than myself let me tell you i've been doing drugs since i was a little boy wait you mean you mean dealing with drugs like, nope, I've been sniffing, I've been stuffing up my butt, smelling them, drinking them. I'm the perfect guy for the job. Uh, press pork? That, I did that not set up the this job interview was, process. Was for, correct? I, who who gave to, you um, the call back? Who gave you the call back for this interview? Do you have a name? Uh, let me check my phone. Oh, here it is. Uh, Y'all know Will? Well, let no. me see what I put on the bulletin board. Oh. Okay, I put I put on. It says right here, "We love drugs. Come see us now." Yeah, that was that, was the, the, that one? was the undercover. That was our undercover little, you know, the little sting op. Remember that? Oh, that was the wrong one. Right. I did not mean to put that up in the in the main hall, but uh, uh, maybe you could go out and uh, send the next one in because I think you had a little bit of a. Misunderstanding, and now, I know hold on. there are I, I, seven. I need a job. All right, well, whatever. There's got to be seven to twelve, you know, recruits. And well, let me ask you a question. Watch Who's the court. asshole? What, put that what, what court are you in gonna there? do? What are you gonna do when you got an unidentified drug in the streets, tearing up, tearing up home, killing families, eating babies? Well, you don't call I'll tell you like what. Me. I'm not gonna. He I'm does, not gonna shut crack kind of up my butt or whatever the. You need someone who knows all the ins and outs. That's me. Brimley? Yes, first part. Where, where are all the prospective recruits? I I think he was the only one that showed up for the uh for the let me let me check the computer. The evidence room job. What is today a goddamn Saturday? Well, yeah. Why did he set up the fucking the... appointment on a guy that nobody's working? This office is empty. It wasn't mine. It was. It was. It was upper levels decision to do it today. Oh, so you bring? I'm the senior agent in this situation. Well, then you must have made the decision. My leadership style is very gung ho, cowboy. Uh, I, 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 I think I'm somewhere between George Patton and Joseph Stalin. And wherever that lies, I may not know, but I'm pretty sure that's me.
Well, I mean, like seeing I as said, how gentlemen. Mr. Washington here was the only one that showed up, I think he will be a valuable member of the team. Mr. Washington's got eyeballs that look like a dog's enlarged prostate. This is years Yes, that of is experience. what I'm referring to. You don't want to turn this down. I need to stand. Let's Stop. go have I'm a look at looking. the computer again. Get out of my way, bro. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. We're, uh, I can't why believe don't you, wait you messed here, Mr. up Washington. yet another. I'll be back with oh. you in a moment. I'll get the door. Okay. So in summary, it says we love drugs. Uh, evidence room click. All the drugs you can sniff. This was meant to lure in criminals, and now it's being used as a recruitment process. How how is that supposed to work, Agent Brimley? Didn't you say you were the one that put it up in the hall? Okay. We can point... It was a mistake, goddammit. We can point fingers all we want, but... Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to work with what we got. See, this okay. is what a nice, competent field agent will do. They, they will improvise in the field. You have yet to learn this. I will show you. Watch this. He's real. He's a real old-school type of guy, you know? Real go-getter of a U.S. Marshal. And, uh, I think it. I think it's good. You know, he's real good at his job. What? Now, what do you, you want? Hey, I'm gonna drop it. Oh, oh. I'm Hang up to... that phone, son. We got business to talk. This may have seemed like some sort of mix-up, but we're actually looking for someone with exactly your experience. Now, you seem like the kind of man who was raised on the streets. You could say that. Grew up right here. Streets. See, my dad's in for That's exactly what we need. domestic violence, sister on crack charges, brothers on crack charges. Got some friends locked up for illegal substance abuse. A connection to the urban youth of today. The urban market. The All these new 13%. drugs I see running around. Yep. The... I, excuse me? Rodney King sympathizers. Uh, yeah, we need uh, we need the, we need uh, lower class African American. Oh. The ghetto inclined. Bruce Park, Bruce Park, please. The we we don't African we don't need any more adjectives. We don't need any more adjectives. We, the, we yes. Some have called me extreme in my methods. Uh, sometimes you have to get extreme, especially in a place like this. You know, if you're not careful, the streets will swallow you up. And you'll become something you never thought of becoming. I need Perfect. an agent who can go ahead and smoke a fat sack of crack and still be able to complete his his work. If if you know what I'm his undercover. The best way to catch a narco, if narcos, the best way to catch as a narco, catch the the men. Uh. Uh. So yeah, Mr. Washington. Uh. For this to go any further, we're going to need to send you uh, a couple forms that you're going to fill out. One's a basic background check. Uh, we'll be able to waive that if anything comes back under special circumstances, I guess. Uh, do you have no. a driver's license? No, no. Don't, don't worry about anything like that. We don't need any fancy credentials. Driver's license need not apply. Look. Oh, isn't he, isn't he going to be on the payroll? We're going to be paying you off the books. For the oh. time being, during your probationary period, of course, we will say that you did things like sorted through spreadsheets. But in reality, you're going to be in the field with us. Do you think you can handle this? I think I can handle that. But first, all you have to do is sign your entire life over to me, as it were. You got a deal. Slide me that paper. I got, I got it all set up right here. Heads up. Oh. <laughs> Listen, don't turn your back on him. He's mentally fallible. I got a red pen to crack at right? any moment. Uh, yeah, red yeah, is fine. fine. That he won't hesitate to bite your face off like the bath salts man on the bridge. Oh. What? Do, do we use like bath salts? Do you think he is? I didn't say. I mean, I don't know, because his eyes are pretty red. Oh. You okay over there, Mr. Washington? Yeah, here you go. 
All right. If his uh, eyes are excellent. red, that means he's on bath salts. We know that now. So, Mr. Washington, uh, we'll be contacting you within a couple hours. Is, is this supposed to be a signature? Am I going to get a heater, or what's going on with that? You, you well, didn't uh, even put well, it on the line. Yet. You have to go through. That's my signature right there. You just, you just scribbled all over the fine print. It's, it's enough. I think it'll be good. I think HR will take it. All right, I'll, I'll just forge a new one. You go ahead, go uh, get them, yeah, so, them processed. Okay, why don't you come with me, uh, Mr. Washington? Is this your office? Uh, no, I don't get an office. Only oh. Agent Brisbane gets an office. Funds are running kind of low here at the U.S. Marshals uh, Department, but we're we're gonna you'll get paid. Don't worry about that. Um, so we're gonna go through some basic end processing here. So, uh, Dante Washington is your first and last. Yep, that's correct. Okay, Dante. And what's going to spell that for me? Ezariah Washington. Okay, yeah. Why, why don't you go ahead and spell that for me? The the full name. M A E L. Really? Oh oh yes, Bruce. Have Sorry, you seen Michelle back. around here? Uh, we already went over this. It's Saturday. Michelle has the day off. All right. Uh, I want you to see what we can do about firing her. <laughs> this okay. is the third time she hasn't shown up on her day off. Just no motivation whatsoever. I, I mean, who does that? Who, who on a government payroll does that? I mean, you got you got dental benefits. You, you, you know, you should be motivated. That's what we call yeah. a trap bitch hoe. She trapping you for your oh. funds. I, I don't pay her. I bet she got a penis, too. Why would you assume that? Because she, she's a trapping hoe. Mr. Washington, why don't we finish this up? All right, so my name is uh, D O N T A E S H M A E L E R Z M A I H W S A H I N G N T O N G G. Now, uh, so it's going to oh, be under the table. Uh, yes, yeah, Bridgeport. Okay, no problem. Y'all, y'all didn't answer my question earlier. Am I getting a, a heater? Uh, not during your probationary period. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, so I just have a couple more questions for you. Uh, why did you want this job with the U.S. Marshal Service? Is it just me and you in here? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Probably dead. No we have on the grave today. And don't touch anything, please. Oh, okay. ah, hello. I already got your workstation over here. Here's where you're going to be working. Uh, most of your office days. Uh, we got some state-of-the-art computers here. Got uh, we got i7 uh, G GTX 750 graphics cards. Uh, two sticks of DDR2 RAM. Uh, you know, nothing beats it. Uh, some nice books around here. Uh, you know, you ever read Roots? Uh, I don't think so. You What's ever, yeah, you know about, uh, Spike Lee, right? I know a thing or two about Spike Lee. Yeah, he, he, he's, he read some books. You know, you can, you can read some of those. Anyway. What books, uh, what books have you read, Dante? Um... Uh, can you read? The interview's over, right? Yes. You have been officially deputized into the U.S. Marshal Services, serving under me. If you have any questions, wow. I will be in my office. Agent Brimley uh, is in the cubicle right next to yours. I think this guy might be part of the CIA. Uh, he, he just gives me vibe you know he sits there in a plaid sweater 
and he has a little divider so you can't see in and there's look at this there's some DNA residue it's his own DNA um, it's sort of encrusted into the sides of the, of the workstation here yeah I wouldn't have sniffed that if I were you I think he's somehow involved in, in cloning and that's what his DNA is for and he's doing some sort of high-tech research into that subject no, we shouldn't be in here. If he finds out we were here, he might have us killed. Yeah, we should probably get out of here. You know, his shirt, it glows in the dark. We got a state-of-the-art copy of scanner. Yeah. All right, you don't got to hit it so hard. Well, you didn't... You didn't even push any buttons on it. It's... All right. Please, okay, that's, you... that's enough of Please that. Please stop that's hitting the printer. That. I need that. I'm the one who does all the paperwork. Oh, hey, Michelle does all the paper. Ah, <laughs> uh, you pretending not to be a slacker again, Brimley. Real funny guy here. Oh, uh, you'll never yeah, catch yeah. Brimley doing nothing. He's, he's the senior most deputy I've, I've worked with. We've been working together for years, seeing the worst of things, seeing the best of things. Mostly, we just made PDAs, but I, I mean, he's dependable and. Everyone else, I mean, we got we got all sorts of kids. I I just brought one in today, uh, Mr. Dante Washington. Uh, what did it say? Hey, uh, I asked you a question, man. Yeah, yeah. You do all the you be doing the paperwork? You doing the, the records and stuff? I mean, yeah. Michelle doesn't really do anything. Firing her. How much? To Michelle does a hell of a lot, and I do not appreciate. We are not firing Michelle. She's a good woman, and you should be proud of her. She is an example that you should look up to, Brimley. Uh, Michelle, she you white? should be ashamed of yourself. She what? She got that flavor of love. You know what I'm saying, man? She flavor of what? Yeah. You know, flavor of love, delicious donkey booty. Yeah, we we don't really do uh, workplace relationships here. Oh. Huh. Oh, don't get any ideas there, Dante. She is a well, white. We ain't gonna have no relationship. Anyway, let's uh, walk on over to the elevator. Well, you can take lunch if you want. I'm sure you uh, have some sort of KFC chain restaurant establishment to get to. Uh, I brought my own lunch, and I believe Brimley is doing a ketogenic diet or whatever f he's on, because he switches his diet every other two weeks. And fasting. he's still fat and it, retarded. Okay. It's fasting. I've been doing it for like two months now. We've gone over this. Fasting is what Jews do. Are you a Yid? I didn't think so. This ain't Hanukkah, Brimley. Get serious. You're going to want all the energy and nutrients <sighs> for chasing down the bad guy. What are you sign about? I'm, I'm going to have all the... Typical. All right, yeah. Sorry, he gets like this sometimes. Well, come back in about an hour and a half. And we're going to get started on a ride-along. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Oh, you think you could uh, stay sober uh, until the ride-along and during it? Um, I've seen that one. Be hmm. Strange young man. I think I like him. He's going to do some good work here. You know, I think every time I deputize someone, you know, I'm giving them an opportunity. And I and I think that people, they, they really shine in this office. And they love their life. And they're always smiling. You can tell. I can't even get out of my chair in my fucking office. Fucking bullshit. Gotta sit in this fucking stupid chair. Hello, Brimley. Oh my god! Hey, hey, Bruce Park. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. You know how I get around new people, and I've always been bullied since I was a kid, so I have to establish myself as the alpha male. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I understand. Uh, I, yeah, thank you for that. So, uh, I did a little Will, will you accept digging. my apology? Yes, I, I already said thank you. I accept your apology. I, have, uh, I did a little digging on... I, are you my... I, I, do you love me, Brimley? 
like a brother, yes. Of course, we've worked together for years. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I, I wanted to tell you something. I oh, did yeah. a little digging on uh, Mr. Washington, and it looks like he has multiple uh, drug convictions on his record. Right, right. That's what that's what we're looking for. You know, he does his service to to his his country, his state, and um, we'll just kind of sweep it under the rug. You know. Uh, all right. I suppose. I just hope this works out. Uh, you know. Speaking of, how about you just go and do that right now? Because I will get my ass chewed out if he currently has that on the record and I deputize him, and that paperwork's about to be processed. So right, right now, go well, do it. Well, Michelle Hurry, is usually please. the one that does that. Oh, Michelle's not here. I need you to do it. Okay, but I'll see what I can do. You can take your lunch after, but really you can't because we're going to the, right along. At, just hurry up and get it done, all right? Okay, all right, I'll do it. Let me, you know, let, I'll let you in on a little secret. Some people say we're officers of the law, right? We uphold justice. We have a, uh, a code, ethics, values. You know, we're Fucking doing printer. good for society. But I'll... We're, we're garbage men. Police are garbage men. And the, old, the whole city is a dumpster. What? He broke the printer. Alright, you can use mine. Just not too okay. much. I only have 90% ink in there. And do I, I really don't want to run out. I have important documents. This do is you know a little number? stuff. Do you, know, do you know what number this printer is? Like when I hit like the the menu. Maybe you should talk to IT. There's no one here. It's Saturday. Is that all? I yeah. I'll figure it out. All right. Thank you. Why are you coughing so much? Am I taking not to ask questions? Now? Whoa! I'm just I'm just why is I mean a lot of this just looks like 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 trash. Not trash my stuff all right i'll be in my cubicle if you need me yeah i'll toss you some oh oh it kind of broke and spilled all over my keyboard oh that one too yeah, one more i, I think i'm good i think i yeah thanks oh oh god howdy Is that thing on uh, hey, hey, Mr. Wash, uh, Agent Washington. Yeah, yeah. If you could, I have these papers. Uh, could you just take these and just, just file them away for me? Everything okay over there? I hear, I hear, you okay? I, uh, I'm all good. I'm just uh, filing these papers away. I uh, you sweep those things under the oh. uh, under the rug. Yeah, yeah. I took I took care of that. All right. Very good. Very good. I think we're in business now. Yeah. Uh, hey, I need a new. What do you keyboard. got? Uh, what do you got? I'm doing right now. Oh, I told him to file some papers. I I need an. Okay. What the fuck is this? Looks like Dirty Mac and the boys had an orgy in your cubicle. Is that a bottle of bleach? Yeah, this is stuff from my car. I was telling uh, Mr. Brimley. My question for you. You want some? Um, malt liquor? Yep. Ah, oh, yeah, you in there. Got some Jack and Henny, too. We're supposed to be mentoring these new agents. His well, yeah, workstation I, 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 is a pigsty. Well, He's drinking I know, on I, the job. I, I, you yeah. know, that's just not acceptable. I, I said, I said. Hey, Brimley, that, you want some of this? You want this beer back you gave me? I, I didn't give you a beer. There you go. Oh, that malt liquor came from you, huh? No, it, no. He, he. Look at my keyboard. He keeps throwing stuff over the cubicle, and it keeps spilling everywhere. I need a new keyboard. Oh. Hey, you still got your W key. I need one of those. Yeah. You're gonna just take All my. All right. Thank you. Okay. Like I said, Mr. Cabraman. Garbage man.
All right, deputies, it's time to get this briefing underway. Got, Our got man we're Cheryl. going after is a man by the name Justin Vadone. What did he do? His charge? Racketeering? Drug dealing? Gang organizing? All of that? No, none of it. Justin and his brother Vincent Vadone smoke weed. We got to bring him down. Brimley? I'm getting kind of a dead cow stare on you. No, no. I... No, you what? What? I... Are you, are you here right now? Yeah, I, I said that's a good use of our resources. I, I, I like no, the you idea. Say you said that in your brain. All right. Well, usually right. this would be the time when you ask questions and I answer them. But uh... so, do we? All right. Well, I do. I guess I. I guess so. Uh, do we? Do they live in this city? Who? The Verdones. What are you talking about? The weed smokers. You just said we're gonna go after. Oh right. Vincent and Justin Verdone Jesus smoke Christ. weed. I need you to start getting all. Our tabs and our info down on him. I'm sure we have some intelligence laying around on these two individuals already. And, uh, we're gonna go have to find some of his low-level Hitlers. Now, I have, I have a suggestion, if I may. I did not say nothing about Hitler. Now, I know a thing or two about a couple strands here and there. I say let me go ahead and head out there. Smoke weed with them. And I can confirm that they're smoking the weed. Agent Washington. I understand you can withstand the rigors of heroin and cocaine, but I am not going to risk your life smoking weed with Justin and Vincent Verdun. Sorry. It's just out of the question. These are, This is the gang they run. Uh, they're infamous for blaring Lincoln Park uh, in public parks, and I think Advanced Sevenfold is another thing they play loud on the stereos as they drive. FBI will be working on... Some of the other King Chavez and the uh, his his racketeers, as well as looking into the recent cartel smuggling operations. So make sure you don't go get in their way. It's fine. We have a much more important job here anyway. You know these Vadon brothers. They got to be taken down. Of course. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Oh. Must have been an emergency. That's what I call productivity. He's probably already getting on his leads. We'll end the meeting leads, now. You can go uh, figure out what you can, Brimley. Okay. You want me to shut the door or you want me to leave it open? What what does that mean? Uh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna shut it. Okay. Why did he shut the door? Anyway, you're about to see some real action. <laughs>